Hello, good evening. I want to share with you the advantage and the beauty of self-knowledge. This I will be sharing it so quick with you, like as a story. You know, as a young, as a young boy growing up in Africa, I was born in a, in a very special and different way. <laughs> so, my legs was uh, left left my friend Omar Egba always called me left left <laughs> but people in my community my areas they always call me K-leg and they, they have a special word in Benin they always use their quality Igbege so because my name was Nosa and so people always say Nosa Igbege Nosa Igbege and this always make me like <gasps> very hungry and always so nervous when people call me that <laughs> But in most cases, people that was calling me this name are people older than me, bigger than me. So as a little boy, like five, six years old, I cannot fight them. I cannot do nothing really over it. So that was something really eating me up as a child. I felt like I was not normal. I felt like, why is my leg not straight like all my friends? And this was growing inside of me. This was growing inside of me. Now it becomes like a very low self-esteem. Then I'm so shy to walk in the presence of people and I'm so shy to walk when I see somebody's fixing their eyes on me so I'm always around with a very cloudy atmosphere around my head very feeling unsatisfied of myself and this was growing along with me but do you know what later happened from the moment I start having the self-knowledge then I know what acceptance me and then my real self start manifesting herself to me. That's where I know, ah, oh, okay. <laughs> I never have legs all this why. All I had, oh, look at the bee. All I had was a fiend. All I had was a fiend. So I was just unhappy with myself without knowing that I don't need to be unhappy. I just need to be grateful and appreciate what I have. This is the power of self-knowledge. It boosts your self-esteem and gives you courage and satisfaction of your own self. So you out there, what do you feel is not right about you? Your ass is smaller, your breast is smaller, or your head is bigger, or for you men, your chest is bigger than your legs. What do you think is not making you like feeling complete like every other man or like every other woman? Don't pay attention to that. Pay attention to what you carry inside of yourself. Just like me. When I paid attention to what I carry inside of myself, that was where I know that I'm a giant fish. And for millions of years I have existed. And because I have manifested in this thing known as flesh as human form, so that structure is still there. <laughs> so that was how and why my legs looks like a fiend. So all this while, while I was crying as a child that I had K-leg, it wasn't K-leg, it was just a fiend. So in case you are out there with your egg bag, eh? be satisfied. What you have is a fin, not the legs. <laughs>